What's up crafty peeps? I'm Trina and this is my channel Trina Creates. This is where we get into all things crafty. There are no rules. There are no limits. If we see a craft we like, we do it. So how many of you are in a plastic canvas and you have something that looks like this? And by this I mean you've got bags with different pieces of scrap plastic canvas, all different sizes. I've gone so far as to have a smaller bag inside of my bigger bag to have even smaller pieces because you never know when you're going to come across a project and need even, let's see, do I have what's my tiniest piece? Even, whoa, the tiniest of pieces. And I think I even have pieces smaller than this just in case I ever need it. So what do you do with all those random pieces? Well, I started thinking about small quickie projects and I came up with this small trinket kind of treasure box. I made one for a friend's granddaughter to put a necklace in, which of course my son saw and thought, mom, you're making stuff for everybody else. Where's my trinket box? I want a treasure box. Then my husband comes out and says, you know, that would be really cool for my Zippo. So then, um, I had to pull the zippo up, line it up, see about how big I needed. And that's what you can do. You can basically make a box of any size you want. All you need to do is hold it up, make it maybe a square wider, square longer than the object that you want, figure out how tall you want that box, make it um, a little bit bigger for the lid, and voila, you got a project and you've gotten rid of all your extra pieces. This trinket box can be made in any color that you want, any color scheme that you want. You can do it in your favorite colors, your, your school colors, your favorite team color. Um, whatever I finish, that box will be available just like any of the other projects that I make on any of my other videos. They'll be available for sale in my Etsy shop. I'll put um, that down in the description box, maybe on the screen. And if you miss out for your chance, because these are kind of one-off projects, if you miss out on your chance to get that project, just send me a message and you can ask for a custom order or special order, and I will get that made and out in the mail for you. So let me take you over to the table and we're gonna work on um, a little trinket box that I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'll probably find something around here that I can set it in, measure off some pieces, and we'll get crafting. Let's go. I completed my measurements for um, the item I wanted to put in my box and my bottom is going to measure 14 squares by 14 squares and this is going to be my top. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. It's supposed to be 16 by 16 and then this one's going to need some sides. And let's see, no, two, mm, we're going to do this four, and to match this, it's going to need to be 16, these are going to be the sides, and then for the bottom, I want to have my, my walls are going to be about I'm going to need the 14 this way. Oh, my arrows are going different directions. And this way I'm going to go... Um, how deep do I want it? So my top's four. This needs to be at least eight. Um, to 10. I think for the Zippo, I made the sides two inches tall. And then over here, I think I made this for the Zippo, it might have been six. It just all depends on the size of your object. So let's cut some um, plastic canvas. You know what? After a quick look at my pieces, I'm going to make this eight inches tall. 
because that fits with my scrap pieces that I have left that I want to get rid of. So yeah, my bottom sides are going to be eight by 14 because that's what I have. All right, let's go. So let's see, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need this to be 14 inches or 14. I need this to be 14 holes. I'm going to keep cutting pieces and once I have them all cut out, I'll be right back. So now I have all of my pieces cut out. This is going to be my bottom, the sides that I'm going to attach to my bottom, my top, and the sides I'm going to match to my top. I also have my three colors of yarn that I'm going to use. Also, Stash Buster. I'm use burgundy, white, and gold. You can use any color that you like, but if you see something that you have a little bit of in your sash, you might want to use it. So looking at my three colors, I'm going to try to plan how I'm going to do my top. And I'm going to do some long um, diagonal stitches. So I think I'm going to make my top burgundy. I'm going to do my sides yellow. I'm going to leave my bottom unstitched. And that'll leave my, hmm, you know what? I think I'm going to do my bottom sides in yellow as well. And by that, I mean, I'm going to stitch my diagonal long stitch on the inside. And then I'm going to whip stitch them all together with white. We'll see how that works out. I may change my mind once we start sewing. But for now, that's the plan. I have, um, I don't know, maybe three or four arm lengths of yarn that I'm gonna feed through. Because I'm doing this long diagonal stitch, I wanna make sure that I have enough yarn to accomplish the design that I want on the top. And because I have long stitches, I can't risk running out of my length of yarn. So starting in that bottom corner, I'm just going to hold my yarn in the back, pull my yarn through, and continue in a diagonal fashion until I have my entire um, top stitched up.
So the first thing I'm going to do is, actually I'm going to stitch the sides to my top. Lay it out kind of like such. So to begin, you want to put your wrong sides together. So that's my front, my front match it up here. I'm going to come in from the inside. And I'm going to hold my yarn here so that I can stitch over it. You're going to see it there in the middle. So I'm going to start in the corner. I'm going to do two stitches in the corner, just for good measure. Then I'm going to continue to whip stitch around. I'd like to go from back to front. Always stitching over my tail of yarn. I'm going to continue that all the way to the end. Now you have one completed side, put stitch together. I'm going to grab my yellow, make sure that my right side is facing. And then just like how I started the other one, I come in from the middle, wrap it around. And continue stitching all the way across.
And this is our finished box. As you can see, I did change my mind on the color scheme. I've got two of the sides in gold, two of the sides in burgundy. Top fits nicely. The finished treasure box is our plastic canvas project of today. Thank you for watching my channel. Be sure to like and subscribe to be notified of future content. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and get your craft on. Bye.